Okay, cool. So welcome. Uh, we're going to be showing how to game, add games to your wish list, and of course how to purchase games. Very simple, like. So basically, this is my profile. But otherwise, your Steam will obviously open under the store featured, and so this will now obviously show you whatever is out there, new releases, what is new year, and of course weekend long deals, day deals, or anything like that. So yeah, we've got some curators, I thought the Hordo guy was quite funny, but I don't know how to get rid of him yet. And then yeah, so say I I want to add a game to a wish list. Now, let's just find something interesting. Uh, let's see now. I've always got stuff. Uh, let's try Rimworld. Because I've got these on wish list already. So we got Rimworld, we see, oh, okay, cool, this looks like a, an interesting little game here. And then, yeah, if you like what you see, and you're interested in what these are and all that, you know, I do recommend reading the comments with a pinch of salt. Sometimes people bent like crazy because they don't know how to play the game or it's not running for them. But do look around because you don't want to buy something that's very buggy. This is an early access game, so you can't purchase or anything. Well, this is up to you, but we can always explain it later. And then, yeah, so say I want this game in my wish list because I don't want to pay 319 Rand, which is in dollars a different amount, of course, but let's call it $20. Say we don't want to purchase this game just yet. We we think that it, it wants to be rather when it is on sale, for example. So what I'll do is I'll click add to wish list, and it's pretty simple. That simple. Otherwise, you just go to store wish list, and from there you can see all your games on wish list, what is available, and all that. These are under pricing, so I've got quite a few of things here. In actual fact, to say I want to buy a game, whatever game it is that you see on the store or on your wish list, you'll just click on it. Oh, sorry, click on visit store page and then yeah this is the game so I'm like cool okay I don't want the guide well the guide's a bit expensive anyway and oh that's stupid price for a guide sorry if it costs more than half no of a uh, game then no thank you either way so let's say I want it I just click add to cart and it basically adds to cart I've already got something my like card so I'm just going to Click on remove from cart, and there it is. Okay, so like I said, continue shopping, then you can continue and add games. You don't have to push yourself and do it all over again. So you just build your cart up, as you can see there. Now, you can purchase a gift. Gift you can then directly send it to your friend. You can put it into your inventory, which will stay there for approximately 30 days. And then you can send it out to anybody, to the inventory, or of course, as to the email so that they can activate from their side now these are region locked as in if you're in the states or you're running under american dollars there is no real region lock to be perfectly honest with you however if, if you're from russia or even like south africa we buy games at a cheaper price due to currency and of course it just sits at a cheaper price now other than that we can't buy games for someone and then transfer it so if you're from those countries and you want to do the whole trading key thing for team fortress 2 keys don't even try you can try it but you're it's region locked so it does as steam states it does not allow for me for example to transfer outside my region which is perfectly fine for me there are other ways of doing things like that with keys but that's dodgy and so yes i want to purchase games so i'll say i want to purchase for myself so i click purchase for myself dun, dun, dun. and here it will show you now yeah it'll tell you what kind of what kind of methods you have now i don't know why it's doing this but i'm just going to click back quickly yeah this is what it's supposed to show you first now my steam wallet it has two and sixty two cents which is very little but always i can use my visa mastercard scroll account bitcoin i don't use these two I, I just don't i used to use paypal but they have removed it unfortunately now my steam wallet i can say click continue and the reason i say this is because it will take 
two rand sixty two cents off that and that's a really outstanding balance. Then I add cards and details uh, so on and so forth and this is not a real card just so you know and then I just keep continue and then it basically works on working on it and then it is the process it is then given you a receipt it will email you a receipt and of course it will then be added in your steam library which you can go to recent and recent will obviously tell you your latest games that you've played or purchased or anything sort of update like these are the latest games I've added in the last week or so through Humble Bundle and yes that is basically how you purchase games or add them on the wish list under the Steam account otherwise this is for me OG Sun which is Mark Cognit and you must follow me on Twitter which is OG Sun2236 which is the same as my YouTube and of course my username over here and of course then subscribe to my YouTube channel I've also got a Patreon account recently but yeah Feel free to add, uh, subscribe, and then yeah, I must enjoy the rest of your days. And of course, be safe in purchasing games that you really, really want, not something you just want to do for the hell of it. I don't know why people do that.